so so crushing. And then and then all uh, these trumpies were just uh it was like a disease. But you know, that's where like that like that movie, uh shit, what's that movie called? Uh Uh, it'll come to me when I'm on. You know what that movie's called? Come on. <laughs> that one. You know. That one. The, the, the one about stupid yeah. people. Most, them. Pe <laughs> most people would know what I was talking about if they were American. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me, let me not think. Because that's my problem. It's like, uh, uh, Wordle. I started Wordle after midnight last night. Uh, I made my typical Arise first guess. And then my second, and I only got, uh, oh shit, what was it? I only got one letter, whatever it was, I can't remember that. And then, uh, was, uh, yeah, I can't remember what it, I was, I think it must have been R, R no, F. Yeah, what was shit? What was today's word again? I know it had uh, a, I know it had the same letter repeated somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, well, it was two two uh, was it two L's? I mean two O's. Oh, that was it. Wasn't it like uh, also spoilers? Wasn't it like um, jolly or folly or something like that? That seems to ring a bell. Nah. Well, I, know I know O was the only vowel in it. Let me look at my phone. Uh, yeah, it was a double S. With a, yeah, I did arise, so R, which was out of place, so I just said rough. And so R O were letters, and then the U G H were dead. And my first go to after that was rookie. R O O K Y. So the K wasn't there, so my obvious next guess was Remy, the guy. See, I would I would never think to spell rookie with a Y. I'd always spell it with I E. Yeah, like a like a rookie in a sport. Yeah. An amateur. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that I think my my guess is a lot of times. I tend to get stuff. I mean, I, I typically get stuff at least one guess ahead of like JJ a lot of times. Uh, I think it's just because, like, I used to play Scrabble when I was younger. I, I always played word games. And I, you know, so I know a lot of variations of words. Yeah. And, and I forget, uh, like, here. Uh, for example, like S and Z are swap. Like, uh, like realize. Like here, realize is R E A L I Z E. Yeah. There, it's with an S. Which, which to me, when I look at the words, I don't go, "Who's spelling that word like that?" No, they, they're both legit to me. But I mean, I just naturally spell it. With a Z, but I still think of S when I when I'm typing a word, and there's a lot that ha that swap the S and Z for English and British. Uh, did I did I already tell you what I was playing? No, not playing. Uh, this this you now explain this to me because I honestly don't. I honestly it it kind of made me laugh, and so now I'm questioning myself. It's uh, a Chinese uh, misrepresentation of what they think metric and imperial is. Okay. Uh, because on on this thirty dollars smartwatch, which honestly is actually extremely impressive for thirty bucks compared to three hundred and some dollars touchscreen, full color. Uh, I get my 
chat um, uh, text messages pop up on it alarms my step count heart rate yada 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 it, it does basically with the android and, and, and apple watch the but in simpler terms and it obviously is not as nearly as nice when it comes down to menus and all that stuff but uh, uh, the, I went on that the app on my phone where you can change settings because there's limited settings on the watch but anyway long story short <laughs> let's try that uh, that's the chase <laughs> yeah the uh, there's uh, in the options menu there's units because I wanted to change it from uh, metric to imperial because I, I wanted miles instead of kilometers which I mean I I get kilometers I just I'm just used to miles that's what I grew up with even though I know what I know the conversion yeah yeah you know and the same thing with Fahrenheit and Celsius I can do a quick conversion but I'd rather I'm just used to seeing Fahrenheit and miles stuff like that anyway so I go into units and what are my options? My options are metric or British units. I'm metric like, or British units. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, so what's the difference? <laughs> am, am I going to have to, if I switch to British, am I going to get stoned? pound and every other variation pence no uh, I switched to British apparently if you ever program the, the app and the software and stuff thinks that British is English as in American English as in Imperial right so I guess they I guess they took Imperial which in English you know, I mean, any imperial means like you know, like a like, like authority, king, queen type authority. So I guess they assumed that that was British English. So yeah, that to get miles and all, all the normal uh, imperial measurements and stuff, uh, I switched to British. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, we don't want to deal. We don't want to deal with kilometers. <laughs> nah, the, uh, there's things uh, I think are like scientific stuff. And a lot of stuff I think. And yeah, metric is 100 percent the way to go, especially when you, especially when it comes to like uh, millimeters to centimeters to meters to kilometers and all that jazz. Same thing with uh, like amounts, uh, kiloliters, milliliters, whatever. Yada, yada. That, that's all 10, 10 base. Makes sense to me. No big deal. Uh, but when you're brought up on uh, the other, I think for me, I think temperature wise, Fahrenheit makes way more sense. Even though centigrade has zero to 100. Well, that's simple. With zero to a hundred, zero is freezing, a hundred is boiling. Okay, but it's just not enough, in my opinion. Like, uh, like thirty-two is freezing, two twelve is boiling. But it's like, okay, a hundred to really fucking hot, which that would be like forty, you know, forty something centigrade. So. Yeah, to me, it's just, it gives you a, a, a wider range to, to know how hot it is. Because, like, one degree in centigrade, you know, is, is like, a, can be like two, whatever, two point, or whatever it is. I don't know. I just think temperature wise, it works better in Fahrenheit. But that's, that's solely my opinion. 
I think uh, there would be, uh, there would definitely be people in any argument, and I think there's plenty of people that probably have their their own, or I think they like Calvin would be better. Christ, Calvin! God damn it! I gotta. Why, why don't y'all country go to Kelvin? Shit. <laughs> now I gotta try to... Now nah, I ain't doing that shit. Here go. Uh, uh, Alexa, it's... It's 50 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. <laughs> and, yeah, then you start having, like, all the temperatures displayed on the same board at the same time. So everybody's happy. That would be like having 5,000... <laughs> languages in, in, in your instruction booklet like we have now over here you go oh they, have, they actually have an instruction booklet and it's not online and it's literally the one 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 square of the folded up poster size page is your language uh, every other square like the other 50 you know whatever front and back or just all different languages it's like holy shit at this point, why not just... And, and all it is, like on the smartwatch, it has all these languages. And the only thing it is is about charging it. And then uh, the basic features that you see on the default screen, because you can change the screen and crap. Okay. Uh, to, you can customize it yourself. You can download different screens, colors, change stuff. But actually, I'm... I'm actually very impressed <clears throat> for 30 bucks and it's been well over 24 hours and i'm still in the 90 some percent uh charge fast okay so yeah i have to say i'm and i've been screwing around with it more since it's new so uh just to get used to see what i can change in the watch menu as opposed to that app menu on my phone and stuff like that yeah uh as far as what i'm using it for so far it works perfectly for, i mean i can say the step counter is very generous <laughs> i think most of them are to be fair yeah i mean well i have to say my the app i have i've had on my samsung phone I've, I've been using Samsung for quite a long time since like the seventh or six. I forget. Shit, I forget now. But anyway, been using them a long time, and their their health app or whatever app it was was pretty darn accurate because I would sit there, hold it in my hand, uh, and stare at it, and not be and I wasn't swinging my arms or anything, and I was walking when I walked. You know, I was walking a few miles a day uh, just on a job, and, and I would just I would just watch it when I'm walking down a long straight hallway, and it was it was counting every. I mean, it was like a, a hair behind my step when it would add another step, but it was consistently just a slight lag behind my actual step and when it counted it. Which I was pretty impressed with that. Let's go! But yeah, this isn't like that. This, this, you walk through the refrigerator and back, and you got 50 steps. <laughs> <laughs> you have to flag, now return. <laughs> Same direction. Oh, my dear God. This, this is capture the flag. Was that the end? I assume the flag was the end. The flag was the end. <laughs> Why don't you wait so long to grab it? <laughs> oh, the shit. You just stood there and let the time tick by. Oh, I'm not bothered about the time. Uh, I, don't okay. care. I don't care about the time. Uh, I thought you were going for like a speed run or something. No, so, I never, ever, ever have to try and do Summit A again because 48 out of 47 berries, we are done. Oh, holy Boom. shit. How do you get more berries? Oh, the 
the 48th is the golden one. Or, right? <laughs> Sorry, say that again. I was uh, miles away. <laughs> so the 48th one uh, is is the gold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations, dude. Yeah. With I've the exception you, of... I, I've watched you play that map <laughs> more times than I think I've ever attempted any map myself. Uh... Apart from this, uh, apart from this one where there's, up. apart from this one where there's actually twenty-two out of twenty, there's actually oh, two, wow. there's actually two golden berries on this one. Uh, well, one, one for not of... dying, and then one for getting all the way to the end without dashing, which oh, is quite dang. interesting. That's but, yeah. Yeah, finally, zero deaths is my best on that. Uh, and we actually ended up on 33,838 38, 38 deaths in total damn and I've spent a total of 63 hours on combined on the three summit levels that's ridiculous uh, that, that would be uh, if it was me doing it and I, and I actually stuck with it and got through it it would look more like my portal hours 